hello everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more so today we have a very interesting topic that is ugly tickling stage or brow pen phenomenon so all of us have faced or went through this stage that is ugly tickling stage during our early school years where our teeth looked very weird especially the front teeth it was flared up but uh, after a few years it got corrected automatically so what is exactly ugly tickling stage and why it is known as ugly tickling so broadband phenomena it is uh, it, we can say that it was explained by a person broadband but why it is known as ugly tickling stage so let's see what is ugly tickling stage or broadband phenomena So ugly tickling stage, it is nothing but a peculiar appearance of our upper teeth during a period of 8 to 9 years or 8 to 10 years. It was literally ugly because the teeth were flared up, there was midline diastema. But why it is known as ugly tickling stage? It is based upon a story that is given by, it is a Danish story or a fairy tale by a Danish poet and author Hans Christian Andersen. So he published a story of ugly duckling. So the story says about a duckling. The duckling found herself to be very ugly when it was born. But once the duckling having full grown and matured, the duckling found out that it has become a beautiful swan. That ugly phase was very short and it was a self corrected one. So it was just a comparison, a self corrected uh, problem or a psychological problem. He connected the problem of this incisor flare up and the weird looking teeth to this story that is ugly duckling stage. Now let's see what is happening inside our teeth when the canine erupts. So it all starts with the permanent canines. So it is a transitional phase. Okay. So what happens is normally the central incisor and lateral incisor it erupts during uh, 6 to 8 years 7 years 8 years it is erupted now what happens is the canines the permanent canines which are very big the longest tooth it has a big crown it has very lengthier root and it is very bulkier so when it erupts what happens is it applies pressure on the roots of lateral incisor from both sides Okay, so this blue is canine it applies pressure on the lateral roots so what happens is the root takes up the force and it in turn transfer the force to central incisor root and all the forces are directed towards the mesial side from here it is going mesial side and it is here it is going mesial side so when roots are converging or it is moving mesial side what happens the crowns are moving distally okay so it just rotates the roots moving mesially at the same time crowns moving distal side and there will be a diastema formation and it looks very weird but after a later period of time that is it continuously erupts so it is erupting it is coming here and here it is reaching the crown region still it applies pressure but now it is applying pressure on the crown instead of root so what happens the crowns are moving mesial side from both the ends from right and left ends the crowns are converging 
the roots are going back to its original position. So when the canine erupts, it first applies the pressure on roots, then it is on the crown. So both the time it moves mesial side. So when it is applying on the roots, the crown diverges and this ugly declining stage or broadband phenomena seen but when it is completely erupted so when it is reaching to its occlusal plane the force is transmitted to crown the crown is going back to its original position the root is coming back to its original position and the person or the child is having the normal occlusion or the normal appearance so that is about ugly declining stage it is a very transient or self-correcting malocclusion transient means it takes two to three years once it completely erupted it will be over so there will be flaring of lateral incisor midline diastema formation then canine erupts it reaches the normal occlusion so that is ugly declining stage or broadband phenomena it is a very simple concept canine erupts it applies pressure, crown diverges, canine completely erupts, it applies pressure on crown, it goes back to the normal occlusion or normal alignment. So that's all about this concept, ugly declining stage and or broadband phenomena. I'll come up with a new topic on dentistry and more. Thank you.